Hello and welcome to episode 71 of my Force of Nature tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on building a mill and this is a bit of an epic, well it's not really, but you're going to see there's a few components involved. So let's bring up the build menu. Well first of all let's remind you of why I'm doing this. So if we go into my inventory and quests you will see in my step to get to that next level I now need to build a mill so that's exactly what I'm gonna do and you can see it's used for rapid grinding of materials hence why I've grown, grown a load of wheat so let's do this so to build it though however check this out <clears throat> we're gonna need a hundred stone and three hundred logs so let's get them good job I've got loads of stuff all lying around so a hundred stone we have 300 logs there's 300 logs I don't even know if I'm gonna have room for all of this stuff uh, let's see what was next uh, 200 planks and five copper ingots so there's our planks and now five copper ingots where is my copper oh there it is so I want five of them okay eighty nails and forty glue So 80 of them, and I'll just throw them over there, like so, and 40 glue, okay, what next? and 20 burlap and 20 glass there's the glass and so now 20 burlap well as you can see I've currently got 12 on me but luckily which is most unusual I'm being prepared and I've got some burlap I've made in this table Okay, let's now have a look and see if we're ready. So build, constructions, down here, and mill. And there you go, we can now build a mill. So let's, thank goodness it can be placed outdoors only. Right, now where am I gonna put the mill? I, hmm, this seems like a good place over here in actual fact. Yeah, I think I like it, like, well, I don't know, I might, put loads more seed beds in um, what about over here yeah why not let's put the mill here and put it up against that there we go how long is it gonna take oh this looks like it's gonna take a while to build uh, let's check my pocket and see what I've got to throw down. Okay, so no, that's all right. Now, so we're waiting for this. So I think the best thing for me to do is go show my progress to the next shard and come back to this at the end of this episode because that's how long it's going to take. Okay, so let's go show you. So I've built a new teleport. Um, trying to make progress to the next shard because that's eventually where I've got to get to and if we come up here there's the shard I set off from Taurus you remember and I've now made Jupiter which is getting me a bit closer I couldn't go around the top 
I couldn't go around this way, I had to come right down here and across. And let's show you the where it is. So let's go to Jupiter. Fortunately the creatures here are not high level, so I don't anticipate dying in this episode. Can't promise for the next one, but at least for this episode. Okay, so if we look at the compass, I need to go in this direction. And you you will see that it is there is loads of this it's very difficult. There's either mountains or canyons, all sorts of things blocking my path and trying to work out how to get over in this direction is proving a task in itself but I will get do it eventually so let's cut this tree down, I think I'm going to have to just do lots of cutting Okay, that gets me a bit further, and I've got to keep my eyes on my health. Oh, there's a scorpion. Well, I'm not one to decline a fight. Oh, it didn't poison me, and I got an emerald chip. Cool. Oh, what's that? So as you can see, the critters here are level four. So. Easily doable. Oh, why'd you have to run off? So annoying. And that is gone completely. So let's focus and get back on track. So I'm going to cut my way through these this apple orchard. Also, I'm going to put down some torches because it is night time. Oh, I can't. I bet it's that blinking fox that's stopping me. Being able to put torches down. Where is it? Oh no, it's a pig. A boar. I can hear it. I just can't see it. This is a nuisance. I need light. Oh, there we go. So, let's put one there. Let's put one there. One there. Okay. Now I'm going this way. Is that ball coming to attack me or is it just going to keep grunting? Oh, no, they switched to my weapon. Okay, so we're going this way. Oh, there's that fox. Or if not that one. Oh, there's a scorpion poisoning me. Let's drink a herbal tea. Okay, so I made a little progress, a couple of steps. So I want to keep going this way. And I don't even know yet whether this is the right direction to get to this next shard. I'm just trial and error. So I'm just going to cut my way across and see if I can make it or not. It might be a little further, the creatures suddenly become really high level. I'll just come at it from every different direction until I can successfully get to the next shard. At least I'm getting lots of apples. Oh, I hope that's not a hill up ahead of me. That will ruin my plans of getting to this next shard. Oh, there's some more ore. Always nice to see ore. In fact, I don't need to cut them trees down. I'll just go around them. Now, where's that fox? near a fox. Just can't see him. Oh, there he is at the top of the hill. Oh, here he comes. 
Oh, two of them. That's it, you run off. Ugh. At least they've shown me the way to go. So this is still good, because they're still low level. Ugh. Talk about useless at hitting them. Oh, you bugger. Oh, my health is going down, so... I've got foxes running in every direction, just not the direction I want. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. He's hiding. Hey, I got you, yeah? You knew it. You come and attack me, and that's what you're going to get. Okay, so let's see. I'm taking health damage, which need, means I'm going to need to switch to my other clothing. Uh, we're changing zones, so now that means that them critters over there are probably really high level. So let's go a bit further just to double check. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to aggro them. Oh no, it's only level 4. So that's doable. Come in, you want to come and join your friend? Okay, what damage? Yeah, I'm taking health damage, so I need to come back over here and swap out my armour, which is my blue chest. Okay, so let's put the right armour on for the job. And disassemble the chest, and now we can head safely in. Okay, so, am I any better off? That is the question. Am I... No, I'm facing the wrong way. I need to go this way. Yeah, so... Okay, looks like I'm in a cold zone this side. Here is hot, if I remember. So, I'm getting closer. Let's see. Lots of trees to cut my way through. Let's drink a coffee. Another coffee. Ooh, it looks like I'm taking even more. So, okay, that is a really cold zone. Or am I wear just not wearing the right armour? No, I am. It's my white fur, so it's giving me warmth. But it's still not enough, so it looks like I might have to make an amulet now of warmth in order to get through... Look at that, and I'm not far from it either. And I can do another teleport, but not yet. Let's see. And I bet they're nasty creatures as well. Let's see if I can cut space to make a teleport. I'm going to have to keep running back and forth. Oh, polar bear. I bet that's high level. Let's go back, heal up. Eat some seps. Yeah, that's a good way to get them through. Now, are they going to kill me with one hit? That is the question. How tough are these polar bears? 
Right, so it's good to know that he can't get through there. 18, you're having a laugh. Level 18, alarm's going, and let's drink a potion, let's eat an apple pie, and let's stop that blinking alarm. Oh, wow. So, yeah, really tough critters. But then I did guess... That, oh, I've got run back. I forgot. I'm taking damage still. I was distracted. And it's not good when the gamester gets distracted because he usually ends up dying. And I don't even know if I'm running in the right direction now. I've got lost. Which way was it? Let's check the map, for goodness sake. So I've got to go... This way. Okay, I just really want to now get back to my camp so I can... Oh, it was up here, that's right. So I can see if that mill's been built yet. It probably has, but I just missed the message. Let's put some lights down. totally the wrong way. That way I need to go. How the heck I'm going to get down there I don't know because I can't see a thing. Oh good, daylight is upon us. Yeah, you see I cut my way through these trees somewhere. Oh. Yep, yeah, you run. And I'm gonna hunt you down. Just like that. And I think this is... No, that's not where I cut my way through. Oh, now I'm blinking lost. Uh, let's... Can I go this way? No. This is why I like to leave logs on the ground, because whilst I know I've got a compass, I'm no good at reading it, so it's that way. Am I really going to spend the last bit of this episode trying to find my way back to my pool? Oh, here we go. Here's my logs. Right. I found them. There's my lights. I just hope um, the mill is finished. Because it would be nice to show it. Oh, I can hear the teleport. Just can't see. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's head back and take a look. That polar bear didn't even give me a um, gem chip. Okay, so, oh, there's my new mill. Check that out. Okay, we need something to test it with, don't we? So, let's grab some wheat. Let's grab lots of wheat. Well, I'll leave some, just in case. Doesn't that look cool? Okay, so we're going here. And we need to use the millstone by clicking on it. And then recipes. Ah, oh, look at this. Oh, I thought it was going to be through the altar that we make the... Uh, potions. How cool is that? I would have never have guessed the mill makes potions. Ah, and there's another way of making Russell powder. An easier way. Um, what else? Flour. Ash. 
very, very nice. I've got to look though, what is the red elixir for? Doesn't tell us. Okay, well, no doubt we'll find out about that in another episode. And hopefully it'll be a good one. Okay, so for now though, what shall I make? Let's do a load of flour. So it's going to use 10 flour, 10 wheat. So it's going to turn 10 wheat into 5 flour. Let's just check. So 10 wheat into 5 flour. What does the cooking table give us? Three wheat into one flour. So ten into five, yep, yeah, that's much, much better. So you'd need fifteen wheat on the cooking table to make the equivalent of what the mill only will use ten. So you're five wheat better off each time you make uh, ten. Uh, five flour. And is it nice and quick? Yes it is. That's not too shabby. Okay, so there we go. There's the mill. And there's all of the items that we can now make easier or quicker. Uh, the Russell powder is the one that I need to make lots of. Uh, ash I'm always making and maybe we'll look at these alexias in a future episode anyway i've overrun long enough we've got ourselves a meal it's working nicely and i'll end the episode there we also made a bit of progress nelly died but we didn't quite wherever you are in the world god bless you and keep every last one of you safe thank you for watching and have a fantastic day goodbye <laughs>